let's talk about some home builders, Arnie. Here's here's KBH. So you know, you know, with the interest rate sensitivity. Yeah, yeah, that could be a play. That that that, that, so. that could yeah, that could be happening. That's probably we flip the weekly chart on that. Yeah. Um. It, it's looking for it's looking good. Uh, look at that one down week that went to pierce through the 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 ten week. The volume was low. So when I see that, I'm not going to try to overreact it because I do have a selling rule when it breaks through the 10 week on above average volume, there's something going on there. Um, but because of volume, it was the, the week prior, the, the one right next to okay. it. Uh, that day, no, when, the other day, the other week, the other week, excuse me, right next okay. to the, the blue one. Uh, you can see the volume very, very low here uh, last week's, last, last week's week. volume. Okay, there yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah. So it, it broke through the 10 week. Looking at that there, I'm not going to overreact because I'm on the weekly chart. I know it's below average volume, okay? So it doesn't tell me there's a lot of selling pressure. Today, we're getting an update. Very, very strong. Um, I like seeing this type of action, all right? So you're going to break through it. Um, this is looking interesting. This is on a focus list. This is on a hot list. Number of funds is going up. Uh, I like the story behind it. Um, are we getting that interest rate cut? Are we going to get in September? Um, up down volume ratios at a 1.1 accumulation distributions at a B composite rating could be a little better. It's at 81 RS rings at 84. Um, but, uh, uh again, I'm not going to get caught up on uh, one thing. I, I try to avoid get caught up on the perfect stock center when everything's not perfect. Right. But if I like the story, I like the way the economy is, the macroeconomics of it, interest yeah. rates, this is going to correlate with that. So I'm going to put a little bit more emphasis on that. Uh, but I would definitely keep this on the watch list. Earnings are out of the way. This is something we're talking about now. Earnings are out of the way for at least two months, I'm guessing. I don't know when they when the exact day was, but uh, looking at that there, uh, the yeah, it happened. Yeah, uh, yeah. so we're, we're perfectly fine. We've got that out of the way. This is looking interesting, all right? This may be looking for to make a nice little run. Um, average daily volume, 1.3. Volume projected to close 100% above its 50-day average volume. Uh, watch list, hot list. Uh, if it breaks through that pivot price uh, on good volume, uh, I may be initiating. This is one of them that we talked about earlier. Are there stocks out there, industry groups that may be affect? You know, you kind of we talked about early alley uh, with regards to should we be looking at it? This is one of the stocks, or let me rephrase that. This is one of the industry groups that I would actually uh, be mm -hmm. focusing on. Mm -hmm. With that interest rate uh, discussion, right. Right. Um, in terms of where this fits versus other names in the group. I mean, we can kind of, we can play through some of these. Here's a look at uh, Toll, mm -hmm. a little bit more beaten down, but also bouncing back, having a good week. Seems like KBH in a better position price-wise. Here's a look at MHO, mm -hmm. uh, HOV in the group, just playing through some of these, PHM and TPH. Uh, what is the liquidity here on this on this one so a little thinner, a little so thinner kbh but... you know seems like yeah as a, as could a be in the, uh, yeah. has the right mix of factors so uh, what we possibly what we might be seeing in this uh industry group is the right side of the base is being formed it's bottom now we're going to start seeing the right side our institution is going to come in and start buying it creating that right side of the base right side of the consolidation uh looking for it to break out so again uh, it's not i don't think it we, we should be buying this stock yet i don't i don't believe in getting in early i want the stock to prove itself to me you're gonna always hear me say prove it that you want more that's 7466 there it would have to break through that uh uh for me yeah, to be even uh, some potential resistance here right around 7250. absolutely you're seeing yeah. that there uh, as it gets there touches goes down gets there touches goes down so if it could go through that the next couple of uh uh, days, uh, I'd be very interested, but the, I like the industry group that it's in. Um, and with, you know, right now the ranking is off because we weren't sure exactly whether they're going to have an interest rate cut, uh, honestly, right. for it, this year. So now the market may be thinking now you're seeing that in IWM that the, we may have one, possibly two now. I don't know. Uh, but I'm throwing it out there. Maybe September, we do get our first interest rate hike. Uh, and hoping okay. we get some clarity on this, when this is going to happen. Yeah, by hike you meant cut, but we know what you meant. Um, right, yeah, that's what I meant. Excuse me. Yeah, no, no, it's all good. We'll tie this back into to yeah that home builder. Discussion. It's happening. So yeah, I mean, it's happening. Volume, price, action isn't. It's looking strong. Look at that weekly chart. You know, you got that insider buying by management as well as while I was going through the consolidation. 
Um, you know, price is king and it, it's showing the strength. Uh, it, it's no accident. Uh, I think the market's telling us we should be focusing on this, on this industry group now. We, we may be seeing it start moving up in ranking. Um, and the way it's looking out, these, this is standing out compared to the rest of the market. And, you know, uh, the, the, I, again, uh, the hard part, you know, is always narrowing. Uh, the hard part's always going to be challenging, narrowing down who the real leader is, right? It's the first to make that new high, in my opinion. The one with the, strong, with the strongest composite rating, know the story, but it, it, you know, you're always going to want to buy the first or second leadership, see really which one's going to prove itself to you, which is perfectly fine. Um, but based on price action, volume action today, um, uh, I, I, I would definitely be keeping this on a watch list. Now, the one the caveat with this one specifically, earnings are coming out in, in 20 days. Uh, another thing is it's not as liquid as I want it. I, I want to see more liquidity uh, when it when it comes to that because it makes it easier for a lot of these institutions to come in and start buying the stock as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, uh, one of the things that you can do in market surge that is, is kind of useful, I mean, you, you've got some options, right? You could just go with a broader group, you know, XHB, for instance, um, is is in the home builder, you know, and also ITB. Those are two uh, different ways. Um, XLRE as the sector spider, that's broader. It gets into more REITs, you know, and, and things like that. Um, but another thing you can do is if you're kind of interested in how that a particular stock does versus the group, you know, what, what Arnie was saying about kind of finding your leader, you could go to your settings and change your relative strength line. And rather than doing the S and P 500, you could do the group, you know, so the symbols group. So what that's going to do is as you pull up green brick, uh, partners, um, it now has a relative strength line that is for the group. And so you can kind of just then go through the group, you know, and you do that by going to the related information, pulling up the, the stocks in the group, uh, industry and sector. Um, you go there and then view stocks and industry that'll pull up all the stocks in the group. And then you just space bar through them and look at the lines. You know, you almost can not look at the price and look at the lines and say, okay, where, where's, where's the relative strength, you know, and then kind of take that step back and say, okay, now that I know who the leaders are now is, is there an actionable, actionable place on the chart, mm -hmm. but don't forget to turn your, uh, <laughs> Relative, relative strength line back, back you know because yeah. <laughs> uh i've i've messed myself up a number of times i'm like what i've done that too I've what is happening too. here yeah. we'll but you know right now that. with with some of these groups that you know if, if you're looking to play in some other groups and you're just not quite sure who the leader is this is a, a great way to yeah. do it because that industry group it it will it will change you know based on what group you're looking at so sometimes i'll do this for a little while i'll go to a few different groups um and 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 check out who the who the leaders are just kind of space bar through the groups it gives you a really good sense of what's happening mm -hmm. okay thank you for that justin let's go to iipr and justin what do you think about the move here up four and a half percent yeah i mean you know look uh, let, let's take a look at xlre uh you know because again the real estate the real estate sector you know, the sector spider ETF, you know, this hasn't been doing much, hasn't really been participating. Relative strength has been low because of it, but now it's popping up above some of those moving average lines on the relative strength side. So uh, that that is positive. Now, look, you know, everything could kind of go away very quickly. We've got, you know, a bunch of banks that are going to be reporting. We've got a bunch of, um, you know, there's still economic data to come out and, you know, that could change things. So uh, very interest rate sensitive. But if you're kind of like, okay, I have my line in the sand and what is that risk to reward ratio? You know, what could I gain and how much am I risking? And if that risk is small enough and the gain is big enough, then I think you can do some, um, some action here. Getting back to IIPR, uh, the, this, this is a REIT that, um, you know, <laughs> this was one of the only REITs that Chris was was liking for a while, because uh, if, if you go to the weekly chart and I'm I'm trying to remember uh, to monthly, how far back actually. it was. But, yeah, there was this, you know, big move um, with uh, the, the the medical marijuana and IIPR, you know, that's the space that they're in. So a lot of times they weren't acting as a REIT. They were acting in a very different way because of that. Um, exposure to, to the marijuana business, uh, cannabis business. So, um, 
that's one of the reasons why this got treated differently for a number of years. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it is going to still have that interest rate sensitivity. Um, if you go to the weekly chart, one of the things that you'll also notice here is that uh, this has a pretty healthy dividend, you know, 6.74%. You know, that's, you know, if, if you're getting 5%, uh, you know, and in, in your, um, you know, for your cash now, or maybe a little bit less, uh, 6.74% isn't too bad. And if you can get some capital appreciation on top of that, well, that's, that's just gravy. So um, that's one of the things that does make uh, some of these REITs a little bit more attractive, especially for those that are interested more in income plays. Uh, but would you be buying it, Justin? No, because <laughs> I, 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 I have, I, I, you know, I have my kind of, let's say my, my, my nest egg split. There are already places where I go to for income. So, you know, when I'm, when I'm playing stocks, I play stocks, you know, I, I don't generally go for income there. I have my other, um, my other buckets, my other income buckets. Um, and I'm, I'm fine with those. So. Yeah, I, I I do, you know, some of those, um, you know, hard money loans and things like that and uh, getting getting very good, you know, rates there. So that's what I stick with personally, you know, so I'm not I'm not going after those income plays in the stock market. I'm going after capital appreciation.